Yo, what's up boys, Aesthetic. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to clip with OBS Studio. Uh, I said I would do this if people asked in my OBS settings video, which you should go watch if you haven't. And I got a couple of requests saying that you, I should, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. OBS Studio for clipping, in my opinion, is way better than GeForce. I mean, it's better for performance, first of all, and I just like it better because it's just convenient. And I'm also gonna show you guys how to make it start with Windows because not a lot of people know how to do that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so first of all, once you load in to uh, OBS Studio, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our settings and we're going to turn it on. Just go to the Output tab, make sure it's on Advanced, go to the Replay Buffer, Enable. Maximum Replay Time, you can set this to what, however long you want your clips. I use 50, and if you have the maximum memory because you're using the CQP rate control, uh, it, you don't really need to change this, it doesn't matter. Just hit Apply, and now you'll get this Replay Buffer uh, icon here. So the next thing you're going to do is go to your hotkeys and just set your save replay to whatever key you use. I use control F, but it doesn't matter what you use. Just put it here. And normally that's literally it. Now you can just hit start replay buffer and you can hit your bind and it will clip to wherever your uh, output is in your recording tab. But real quick, I'm going to show you guys how to make it so it starts automatically on your windows and it's going so it's just ready. So what you're going to do is just hit your stop replay buffer. And you're gonna close out of this and on your desktop um, the icon or the OBS studio shortcut what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click it you're gonna hit properties and where the target is in the shortcut tab you need to go to the end hit space and type dash dash start replay buffer just like this I can put this in the description as well for you guys to copy paste just hit apply and OK. And what that does is it makes it so every time you launch OBS Studio, um, it will automatically start the replay buffer with it. So now I'm going to show you guys how to make it start with Windows, how to make it automatically launch. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit Windows and R at the same time. And you're going to type this exact command. Shell common space start up. And what this is going to do is when you hit OK, it's going to bring up the common startup folder. And this is everything that launches with your Windows. Um, every app that you choose to launch with your Windows. All you have to do is just drag the shortcut that we just customized into here. And now every time you turn your PC, it will automatically launch the OBS Studio shortcut with the replay buffer going. And that is how you fully just clip with your OBS. Now it's just like the same thing as GeForce. It'll just run in the background and you can just hit your buy whenever you want to clip. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a pretty short one. I mean, it's just pretty simple. I probably could have went over this in my OBS settings video, but I don't know why I didn't. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Peace.